the blessed express he has nothing to prove at this point the only thing that's stopping him from gold is the guy at the top alexander volkanovsky that's neither here nor there we take on legends for fun on the other side of the spectrum right this is an interesting matchup aj and we have to say um you know we'll repeat it again number one versus number eight reasoning wise for like competition reasonings it's not quite there and when you saw what alexander volkanovsky just did to the korean zombie it might make you a little concerned for what max holloway is about to do my question to you is we have been seeing a little bit of d1 korean zombie um recently in terms of the wrestling credentials does he try to take this fight to the mat against the bless express I don't think so, Derek. I think this fight right here is strictly for fun, strictly to have that end cap on your career that you went out like an absolute G and really are down to fight whoever, whenever, and make yourself the stored character of your own story. Man, this one is is seriously just for the Korean zombie to go out there and have a lot of fun. Yes, could he be the D1 wrestler? Yes, he can. Could he go out there and make this his style of fight that's most winnable for him? Yeah, 100%. But I think he's doing this one for the fans, man. The Korean zombie's been doing it for... I don't even know how long on my notes, at least 2011, bro. This dude has been doing, like I said, a story career. Do you think he's going to go into D1? Are we going to see that just kind of brawl style the Korean zombie likes to do, walk forward and throw some hands? What do you think? I think it depends, man. Is this the last fight? Because there's no like solidification for that. There's kind of alludes to that, but it's nothing set in stone. And you know how MMA retirements go. But I think that if this lives up to be the matchup we think it is, this is going to be very reminiscent to a fight that actually just took place. So if you're watching this right now, you should have tuned in. But uh, AJ, I don't know if you was tuned into the PFL last night. Clay Collard, Shane Burgo, instant classic fight of the year contender right there because they sat in the pocket and they swung them and that was it man it was clay collard not checking uh calf kicks and it was shane burgos not putting his hands up for the for the headshot so the point is here we could see record numbers um in terms of volume for max holloway the thing that does concern me is that the korean zombie man he's a power guy right we're not going to see as much volume can he crack the chin of the indomitable max holloway Ooh, that's a hell of a mountain to crack, Derek. I, I, at least looking right now, when's the last time we've seen Max Holloway TKO'd? Back in 2018, brother, a long time ago. And no, I'm sorry about that. He won that fight by TKO by Brian Ortega. No, it's been even you, longer than you that, that he went over it. You, you haven't, haven't, AJ. He's exactly. never been knocked down. Max Holloway is a different breed. An absolute different breed. The uh, the fighting pride of Hawaii right now, man. The Blessed Express. There's a reason he kind of has maintained that air of the GOAT, even though he's not the champion. I don't think we're going to see the Korean zombie crack that puzzle, but you're right, Derek. He held absolute power. Bombs in those hands. Do you think he has the KO power to actually get it done? And second question to you, Derek, do you think he has the technique to be able to find himself in those situations, or is he just going to put himself in a brawl to find himself those situations? Listen, man, I think anybody can get caught at any moment. Do I think he has the capacities to do so? Yes. Do I think it would happen? I just think it's a long shot, man. I think it's a fairy tale. And I think that when you find yourself in a matchup like this, you root for the underdog. Underdog is clearly the Korean zombie at plus 550. And for that reason, man, I think that this should be a surgical pursuit for Max Holloway, given he does approach it as in, I'm going to come and I'm going to do what I do best. And that's box your face off. If he comes in and says, I'm going to have a war just because... Look at that fight he had against Ricardo Lamas when he said, right here, let's go, and they swing him. You could have got caught. You could have got knocked out, but he didn't. We'll see if it happens this go around. The thing that's interesting to me here, AJ, is uh, we need to talk about your prop lock of the night. Prop lock of the night for you was a decision. Now, at open, it was plus 165. For you, you locked it at what, 185, something like that? Plus 180, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, Derek. Okay. Yeah, folks, there's some serious value right there because of the indomitable will and chin of Max Holloway, as well as that goes for Korean Zombie. This dude has an iron chin as well, man. I think this one's going to a decision, and that's why I see a lot of value right there. Prop lock it in, folks. Go win some money this weekend, and let's get it going. Now, I will say four of Max Holloway's last victories have been decision victories. But AJ, I just want to push back really quickly before we move on. Of all the matchups that he's had as of late, this is the one matchup where I can see Max Holloway getting a finish. Chan Sung Jung got TKO'd against Alexander Volkanovsky in round four. Volkanovsky, while having massive power, clearly the best in the division. Max Holloway is just a little bit different in terms of being a volume striker and being able to just have that wear and tear on you to where you cannot compete any further. Um, is there any pause in the back of your mind that does think Max Holloway can legitimately get the Korean zombie out of there? There was, Derek, especially at that minus 150 open TKO prop. There was a little bit of hesitation going in there, but to be honest with you, man, I just see this being one of those old school blood and guts, knockdown, drag out style of fights that's going to end in a fifth round decision, but there will be blood all over the floor. 
Okay, fair enough. Folks, I will say this. Max Holloway is a man that you need to absolutely respect because not only do you not see one versus eight just because, you don't see one say, let me put it on the line against number eight because this automatically propels Korean Zombie to a title shot if he wins. That's the implications. This is literally a lose-lose for Holloway. If you win, well, you were supposed to. You better win in impressive fashion. If you lose, not looking good. Either way, with that being said, that is your main event.